right? So if 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 you lived in Concord, right? Concord Dawn. And and it was dawn. It was the break of dawn, and you were protecting somebody. Would I be the protector of Concord? Would you be the protector of Concord Dawn? That's the name of the episode. Rule the title sequence. You know, before I watched this episode, I was like, that's a really weird-ass title. The Protector of Conquered Dawn. Well, there's a group called The Protectors, and they live on Conquered Dawn. Oh, is that why it's called <laughs> that? I'm so stupid. It's like last week, and there was a princess on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> or like, what, is, what is next week? It's like the... The fucking... The something of Lasan. Whatever. The, like, the last of Lasan. Who cares? So this week is The Protector of Conquered Dawn, and... Uh, the rebels need safe passage to his like Mandalorian planet. They need a like, shortcut to get to the yeah. fall, so they're like, let's go through this Mandalorian system that Sabine. And has Hera started. gets fucked up. <laughs> like Hera fucked up. Hera gets straight up like shot out of the sky by some, by some Mandalorian jackass who looks like Buzz Lightyear. And, and Sabine's like, oh, we gotta get revenge. And Kane's like, no, uh, uh, you didn't say a magic no, word. No, no, the Jedi don't take revenge. Uh, so they go to the planet. With the intent, or Kanan goes with the intent of like peace. Let's talk about this. Let's Sabine goes in with the intent of let's shoot all these guys in the head. <laughs> uh, uh, and and it, obviously hilarity ensues. Yeah. So no and, one told you that fuck gonna be this way. Uh, and I guess Sabine is like a relative, of like the one guy from the Death Watch. Yeah. All right then. Wait, the guy from Clone Wars? Or? Yeah, the guy from Clone Wars. Okay. Like pre I forget his name, name. Yeah, it's like pre I think. Because she says, like, she's... She said Vizsla, yeah. She's like, clan around House Vizsla, and they're like, Oh shit, you're Death Watch! Yeah, So, right. that's a thing. Alright, so that's another character that has a relationship to a character from the Clone Wars. Yeah! So, like, almost everyone in this show, except for, like, Chopper, uh, Ezra, <laughs> and Zeb, have connections to somebody from the Clone Wars, or are from the Clone Wars. Because yeah. Hera is uh, Chamsadula. Hera is Chamsadula. Sabine is Pre Vizsla. Uh, Kanan is uh, Depa Boaba, but I don't know if she was really in the Clone Wars, but she was in that era. Mm -hmm. uh, Rex and Ahsoka are just straight from the cartoon. Hondo is too. Yeah. Uh, Darth Maul when he shows up. Uh, Darth Maul Plagueis Snoop. Darth Maul Plagueis Snoop. Darth Maulster. Old Maulster. Anyway, uh, and then they they end up capturing Mandalorian Buzz Lightyear. Mandalorian. I forget what his Buzz name is, Lightyear. but I call him because he has. He it's like, like it's like, like Rim. I don't remember. Rim Rim, Rim Job the Mandalorian Buzz Lightyear. Okay, uh, Mandalorian Buzz Lightyear Paladin dance, but they capture him and. He's a bit like Paladin Dance. He is a bit like Paladin Dance. For those of you who play Fallout 4, except he's less racist, I think. He's a Mandalorian, they're all pricks. Uh, Whoa. And, yeah, so I guess he's <laughs> going to be maybe a recurring character? Or he's just going to spend the rest of the season in a jail cell? I don't know. We'll see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> all right, so... I just I got I gotta say a couple things here. Go, okay? go ahead. That that first sequence, right? Yeah. When we see Hera like fighting with all the dudes, those Mandalorian ships are awesome. They are cool because like They're the wings so like cool. separate from the cockpit and they like spin and they do like the and it's like super. It is cool. It is really cool. You, I'm went, so, you went full on six year old for I'm a second. sorry. I'm sorry. When I, they go. Pew, pew, pew. When, I, when I see cool spaceships, I get that. Yeah, one. They're, like, they're, they're like the. They're very like the the B wings. Yeah. That like they the like cockpit is stationary. Yeah, and, and like, like the wings spin. Like some of the space battles, like, I got confused which ships are from who. And they look kind of similar. And I was like, which ones are the rebels? I'm like, oh, the rebels of the ships look like shit, and like the Mandalorians are like the shiny spinny ones. Oh god, but like. It's interesting to me that sequence because like we usually we you would get like when when starfighters like are shot out of space, you just see like the explosion. 
Yeah. But in this episode, Hera gets they go, shot, but she... they go into the cockpit. There's two people who die, and we see their yeah. last fucking moments. And I was like, like the original Damn. movies, like the original movies when you when you see like the rebel yeah. pilots get shot down, and they're like, I'm hit. I was like, that's dark. Uh, another thing, and this is kind of a con. It's just a little thing that bugged me. There's no fucking way Hera's ship made it through hyperspace. No, there's no way. Hera it ship... comes out of hyperspace, the entire back half of the ship is burnt yeah. and destroyed yeah, and, like, bit... on fire. Yeah, it's bullshit. like, there's no way that went through hyperspace. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, but, like, and then, like, everybody's all upset. Oh, because Hera got a boo-boo, but there's two fucking people who died. <laughs> like, come on. She's the cat. Did. But two other fighters died and they don't even care. Just she's like, oh, Hera got a boo boo. She's gonna be a little hurt. She's the captain. <laughs> They're like, we gotta get revenge for Hera. Two people fucking died, Sabine Jill. Obviously, <laughs> Sabine has the hots for Hera. Do you no. not? Do you not? She see has that? the hots for that the other Mandalorian bounty hunter. Can we just agree? Yet? Sabine is definitely a lesbian. Yes, that's okay. what we've been talking about. Okay. Ever since that one Sabine episode, that Sabine is a lesbian and also like falls in love with any girl that like gives her like a little bit of contact. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you're talking to me. I love you, but I love you also, like bald headed, like yeah. Oh, also, god. like I never fucking knew that. The thing on like the Mandalorian helmet like comes down. I mm -hmm. never knew that was like a scouter. Yeah. Like I just thought Boba Fett's thing does that. I just I I have you is I've never seen that happen or I just don't remember it. I think he does it at least once in Return of the Jedi. Does he? I don't remember that. I that's sad because I just watched Return of the Jedi recently. Yeah. But like I I always thought it was like a radio thing. Maybe it was maybe it was Empire. I don't know. Cause, I'm pretty sure it comes. Yeah, because I sure always, I always way. thought it was just like a radio thing that like he like picked up like signals or something. Nah. But like she did that, I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's like a like a scouter thing. Yeah. Like that's cool." Like I never... uh, the the eye thing. Yeah, like in Dragon Ball Z. What are you doing? It's over nine thousand. Okay. Uh. <laughs> um. We gotta just mash up pros and cons together. You know? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna say a con. Uh, the guy that got to voice Mandalorian Buzz Lightyear kind of sounds like he's drunk. Like he kind of sounds like he's slurring half of his lines. Well, he was drinking the thing. I know, ball. but like he could be actually drunk. Just the performance he gave, I was kind of like, it's kind of iffy. Hmm. It, it, it's me, me. But I like, I didn't notice anything. He whatever. just kind of sounded like he's like slurring half his lines, or like he just didn't sound as enthused. And I was kind of aware that like this guy was a guest voice actor, and he doesn't do a lot of like. Cause I looked up, I looked up the guy that voiced him. Cause honestly, at first I thought I thought it was Christopher Eccleston, cause they kind of sounded like him a little bit at first, and it wasn't him. It was, it was some other guy. But I think this guy doesn't have a lot of experience with voice acting, mm -hmm. so he doesn't really know how to like. Cause voice acting is a lot different from like screen acting. I've heard. I also don't feel like they did a good job explaining why Kanan didn't take Ezra along. Yeah, like I kind of feel like this like, episode missing a lot of Ezra. Because, like, like, cause like he, he's like, I'm just going by myself, but I'll take Chopper, I guess, because uh, he turned out to be a yeah, big Chopper, fucking hell. Yeah, Chopper didn't do a damn thing. He didn't thing. do a damn Not thing. a damn thing. And then Sabine just, like, hitchhiked. I was like, all right, why didn't you, like, at least take Ezra? Like, yeah. I mean, it could be worse. I mean, in Clone Wars, fucking Ahsoka goes with everyone that's not Anakin. <laughs> like, fucking in one episode, she goes with, like, Ava Secure. I'm like, Why? <laughs> Where's Anakin? Because like, you guys showed cool Jedi's. But there was an episode where like it was it was just Kid Fisto and like his former apprentice. So there was nowhere in sight. Why can't you do more of the? I'm talking about a different show altogether. Yeah, we're talking about Clone Wars now. Um, um, yeah, but like the the Mandalorians themselves and like the like they they kind of rushed like giving us backstory on like Sabine. I think I don't yeah. think that was like the best moment for them to be like, oh, I this person, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, I feel like that maybe should have been more of, like, at least half an episode on, like, her yeah. being Death Watch. Or, but, like, or at least have Death Watch blood in her. But, you know, I get it, whatever. Um, so I hope we get more of that this season. Yeah. More of Sabine Death Watchy. Uh, I did like the, the Kanan being, you know, like, let's do this diplomatically uh, and go, like, talk and stuff. Yeah. Because it's like... Yeah, Kanan would do that. Yeah. Because he's all, he's like, the Jedi don't do revenge, so Yeah, like, and, and Ezra's all like, God, Kanan, you're so old. I feel like it's been a really long time since I did my emo Ezra. I think you did it in the last fucking did I? episode. It feels like a lot longer than, <laughs> oh, fuck it, whatever. I think you just did it once at the end, but I think that might be that. Uh, I don't okay. know. 
Um, you gotta have your running gags, man. I mean, <laughs> God, God, Kanan, you're oh. so old. I'm gonna go trade with Darth Maul now because he's cool and us robot legs. You get robot legs, Kanan. Robot legs are so in now. <laughs> Kanan, you're so 2000 and late. <laughs> Kanan, did you hear that My Chemical Romance is a new album? <laughs> or whatever, like the, the like the edgy like Cantina band. The edgy Cantina band. Yeah, like the like the pop punk version of Figuring Down in the Modal Modes. Oh my god. Uh, Fallout Jizz. <laughs> Cause that's oh, the kind of, of that's the kind of music is jizz. Yeah, I know what it is, Connor. <laughs> or like the fucking band from uh, Knights of the Old Republic, whatever they were. Was they part of a puzzle? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Do we have anything else to say about this episode? I think we've covered most of it. I mean, yeah. like the conversation that Caden has with the Mandalorian, I thought was pretty interesting. about about his master. But he was like, because is is this the first time in the show they've talked about specifically the identity of Caden's master? Because I know they talk about his master a no. lot in the show. Okay, I just I can't remember if they've actually mentioned her by name before. There was a whole thing where he was like, in like season one, where he's like, oh, my master might be alive, but then like it just turns out it was a trap by the Inquisitor. Okay. Like that was kind of like because like was, might, might have been the introduction of the Inquisitor. Okay, because like I, I can't remember if they ever mentioned the, that like, it was. I can't even I can't remember if they actually mentioned that his master Depp Bo- yeah. of Bilaba in the show, because I remember when I was reading the, the, the canon comic, I was like, oh, that's who it is! Oh, think, okay. I think they did. Okay, I, um, I can't remember. I don't remember a lot But of I mean, like, it's it's cool to know, that, like, they said, uh, like, the the Mandalorians fighting with the Republic and stuff, yeah. and, like, having that, like, uh, that history between them, at least. Yeah. That he can be like, hey, look what I can say and do. Look, see, lightsaber, it's cool, right? Lightsaber, looky, you know looky, 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 look at the shiny, look at the shiny! Oh, God. Um, oh god! He just jumps on the dude's fighter and is like, "Yo, ah! ah, Jedi! Jedi!" He doesn't sound like that. That's not his no, voice. No, that's not. That's not. That, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's Master. That's Master Schwarzenegger. Master Schwarzenegger. Yeah, from from the, from the planet. Arnold Trump. Schwarzenegger should play a Jedi. Arnold Schwarzenegger should voice Chopper. <laughs> la, la. He goes get to the Chopper. He goes get to the Chopper. I, uh, I am the chopper! I would imagine just a droid just with Arnold Schwarzenegger, like instead of beeps and boops, he's just like Kanan, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! It's like a super like fucking muscular They droid. got you pushing too many pencils! They got you pushing too many pencils! They got you pushing too many data pads! Kanan! Oh god. Uh, I think that's touching it. I think that's the it. The next episode is a Zed episode. It's hopefully going to be a Zed episode. Which I'm about. really excited because I don't think they've ever had like. like they haven't had like a big like Zeb episode. No, yet. they've had like a big, you know, Hera episode, a big Sabine episode, a f- Ezra and Kane, obviously. Yeah. But they haven't had a big Zeb episode yet. Because the next one is called like The Last of Lasan or something. And Lasan is. Lasan is. Zeb's homeworld. Zeb's homeworld. Yeah. So it'd be interesting because Zeb's like the last of his species. Yeah. He's also what Chewbacca was supposed to be before Chewbacca was Chewbacca. And Chopper is also what yeah, he's, Archer he, to it. This yeah. show used a lot of like redesigned like He's, he's based off the concept art for Chewbacca yeah. and Chopper the concept art for Archer Yeah. Uh, and Ezra the concept art for... I don't know. Uh, Anakin? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm making bullshit up. I, don't, I couldn't... I couldn't... I didn't have a punchline. I was just setting up. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fully think my joke through. Okay, so... I'll, I'll improve in the future. Okay, so see you guys next week when more Star Wars, hopefully more Emo Ezra, and I guess Zeb. What does Maul show up, damn it? Yeah, it's like... No, Maul still Plagueis. It's like... Like, after that trailer, it's like... Where is all this shit? We're getting like the same stuff we got at the beginning of the this season. They're doing it's just it's all, the same stuff. It's like character centric episode, character centric episode. Where is like they're doing, it, this is a setup. I guarantee it's all of that cool shit in the trailer is one single episode. I think I like, guarantee you that's entirely <laughs> one whole episode. It's at least two episodes. It's and the be. rest of it is bullshit. Like, it's at least two episodes. I probably, think like what the, they're what they're doing now because like the last few episodes have been like. They've been collecting allies, like they got the clones, and they got the one dude who helped out his parents, and now they've got the Mandalorian, so like- Where was he in this episode? <laughs> I don't know, jerking was it, off. Was he off polishing his chin? <laughs> yeah, but like, they've been like gathering this force that like, I'm like, 
they've just been gathering characters. Like you're not done with these characters; they're coming back at some point, and I think there's going to be more payoff. Yeah, but when, towards when the, the end of the season, if we're going to do a Champs and Duel when he shows up, they're going to yeah. be like, "Oh, Hera's dad, you should join us." It's like, okay, okay, and then we'll get like my you know, girlfriend was killed by Darth Vader in a novel that happened ten years ago. <laughs> also, I'm French. My daughter isn't. Isn't that ass backwards? <laughs> oh God. I hope, Fucking... I hope he's French in this show. I hope they like, keep that like all the aliens have, like weird accents. I don't know. Was he like? Did he have a French accent? I think so because I, I I just watched the episode and I'm pretty okay. sure yet it wasn't as pronounced as like like fucking fat ass or free tall or whatever. Good Fortuna. The Fortuna wasn't French. He was just like. Look at my teeth. Look at this testicle on my head. Oh God. Salacious crumb. Look at this testicle on my head. That's my salacious crumb. How do you know that th that little thing's name? Do you not? No. Thought you were a lore geek. I'm sorry, the small rat that lives in Jabba the Hutt's crotch is not important to me. I thought like everything <laughs> Star Wars fan knew who Salacious Crumb was. I I'm sorry, I thought this was Crumb. America. Yes, Salacious B. Crumb. The Kawaki <laughs> monkey lizard. He just hangs out in Jabba the Hutt's crotch. Yeah. And laughs. And laughs. And his name is Salacious. You know Big Fortuna's name? <laughs> because of the Star Wars joke. Oh, good for you! I know, because, like, like if you if you eat, like, sushi in the Star Wars universe, you'd eat a bit of Fortuna. That's do you, how know, I know, do you know who Sai Snoodles is? No. She's the fucking, the weird, the, the one who sings Jedi Rocks. Not, no. not, not the fat one, but, like, the, the, the... The, the one with the lips. Yeah, the one that's like, oh, the eat do but the do that one. She was in Clone Wars. Don't she, ever do that again. She killed Zero. I know she killed Zero. Yeah, because she was, like, she was screwing him, but, like, Zero's gay as fuck. Even though Huts are all hermaphrodites, but Zero is gay as fuck. Cause straight up when Cat Bane breaks him out of prison, he's like, Oh, it was so dreadful! I'm like, oh my god, Zero. <laughs> no wonder if you were any gayer, you'd be bright pink. He's purple. That's close enough, I guess. He's like a fucking feather in his hair, oh, too. God. Or head. The Huts don't have hair. They also don't have genders, but Zero's gay as fuck. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, I think we stopped talking about this episode, like, this is gonna ten be, minutes ago. This is gonna be all, like, the like the after the end slate, probably. Nah. Just oh, keep just keep all this in? <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so we'll see you guys next week, when hopefully we get more about Zeb, because that'll we, be And we just stop talking about the Clone Wars, because I honestly forgot what this episode was about. It was about Mandalorians, and they needed a shortcut to Lothal, and, and Kane was like diplomacy, but Sabine was like revenge, and... Did you know that the the Duchess from the Clone Wars, the Mandalorian Duchess, her name is Satine, which is also the same name as the love interest of Ewan McGregor in Moulin Rouge, and Duchess Satine is the love interest to Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Clone Wars, who was played by Ewan McGregor in the movies? That is neat. <laughs> I just seen Moulin Rouge again. I have never seen Moulin Rouge. It's a good movie. It's a weird movie. It has the gayest sounding title ever. Moulin Rouge. It's about a French bride. I know what it's about. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a musical, but with like contemporary songs, and it's directed by the guy who directed the Romeo oh, and Juliet movie that I don't like. like. One of the first movies, one of the first songs is actually a uh, fucking... Uh, smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Oh but it, like, it's mixed in with like other things. I, I know, like they, they do like the modern like, songs, but like in like a time period appropriate. Yeah, like, and they like mix stuff. it in with other. Yeah, songs. I, I, I know what it's about. I've seen like reviews. This is of no it. longer about Star Wars. No, it is not. It's about Moulin Rouge. This is going after the end slate. Like. Cool. Just talking about fucking Moulin Rouge and this guy who directed a movie that I don't like. Ewan McGregor can sing, dude. Ewan McGregor can do anything. <laughs> he can make the prequels good. Ewan McGregor can <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> He can fuck me too, I don't care. <laughs> Ewan McGregor, I know you're watching this. Last, you're watching. Week, last week we talked about the Star Wars actors who were watching this. Ewan McGregor, we know you're watching this fucking like Freddy Prince. Christian Haydenson, you can fuck off. Hayden Christensen. What the fuck did I just say? Christian Haydenson. Christian Haydenson. Christian Haydenson can fuck off too. Also, Hayden Christensen. <laughs> what if Christian Haydenson. Okay, what if there's an, an alternate universe where Christian Haydenson played 
I really Anakin, just fucking really did that. But he's like the only good actor in all the movies. Christian Haydenson. That's not his name. There's gotta be somebody else named Christian Haydenson. Probably, and I probably just made him really upset. He's like, why are you fucking young? You know that like, like, Swedish guy that's like, oh no, why are you making fun of me? You mean Pee Wee Dee Dee? I mean Christian Haydenson. Pay attention, dipshit. Pee Wee Dee Dee? Not Pee Wee Dee. <laughs> Stop making- Because he's Swedish. You just said Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. Yeah. Pee Wee Dee Dee I was like, Pee Wee Dee Swedish. No, Pee Wee Dee Dee. I keep forgetting what nationality Pee-wee-dee-dee. is. Pee Wee Dee Dee. Okay, then you're so old. I just combined two running eggs together. Now I'm gonna run a marathon. Ow! Charlie horse! Did you just have a seizure? No, I had a Charlie horse! What the fuck was that? It's where your leg cramps up. Alright. <laughs>